Good afternoon. Today, I get to say goodbye to my Q7 and I say hello to a new car. My name is Darren and this is Eastie's Corner. Okay, today, like I said, I say goodbye to my beloved Q7. Um, I've had it now for three years. Um, I don't really want to get rid of it, if I'm honest. I've I really, really enjoyed owning this car. It's uh, been an absolute pleasure to drive. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just don't need it anymore. It's too big for what I need, and the road tax on it is £730 a year, so I'm getting something slightly smaller, uh, so the road tax is a bit better, a bit more affordable. Um, yeah, so... Uh, We'll uh, say hello to my new car in a bit. We're on my way now to uh, Fisher's Car Sales in Lincoln to um, part X my Q7 against another vehicle. And you'll see what it is in a bit when I reveal it. Okay, so my Q7's gone. We're about four or five weeks down the line and I'm still doing this video. Um, basically, I've, I'm in the car now, the new car that I've got. Um, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. Um, yeah, so I will show you around the car um, a little bit later in the video. At the moment, I am on my way down to uh, Cool Tint in Lincoln. AD is going to tint the windows, um, and uh, he's the guy that did my Saab and the BMW as well. And I'm returning there at P Business, which is good for him. Um, yeah, so the car that I've got at the moment, um, obviously as you can see, hasn't got tinted windows, and you're thinking, oh my god, we can stay in the back of the car. Well, I have taken the back shelf out, and to do that, you have to take the back seats down and the, um, the rear pillar um, covers off, and um, yeah, to, just to get the partial shelf out. Uh, to make his life a little bit easier for when it comes to tinting that back window. And as you can see behind me, look, it's all been taken apart. Um, and you're probably still wondering what car I'm in. Um, if you can guess just by there, comment in the, in the comments below. Um, yeah, so um, I will show you around the car in, in a little while. Um, in a few hours once the uh, windows have been tinted and uh, yeah, you'll be able to see it for the first time. Um, <clears throat> I have done a few things to it already and obviously I'll explain what I've done um, and any links for bits that anybody might be interested in I will stick in the comments um, uh, in the description. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, basically I have bought um, a base model it's still a three litre V6 diesel, but this is a twin turbo version. Twin turbo. Um, and currently the vehicle is at 236 brake horse. Um, and I'm going to get it remapped uh, by Zillan Motor Group. Um, and he's going to be able to take the car to 307 brake horse with one map. That's a pretty massive uh, jump just in, a, in, the, in the first map for the vehicle. Uh, so yeah, I've, I understand as well that the gearbox is mappable. Yes, this is an auto, another automatic. Um, and uh, yeah, I will show you the car in a little while, like I said. So, um, let's go and get the windows tinted. And once the windows are tinted, once the windows are tinted, once the, yeah, once the windows have been tinted, I will come back to you. Okay, so been to cool tints, picked up the car. As you can see, well, you can't really see because you can still see out of them. The windows have been tinted, limo black, uh, just like the rest of the cars. Um, much much better. So thanks AD for Cool Tints in Lincoln. I'll drop a link in the description for everybody. Um, yeah, so we'll have a look at the outside of the car. Right then guys, so 
um, <clears throat> as it is, it's been quite a while um, making this video, so uh, apologies for that. Um, yeah, so as I've said in earlier in the video, uh, I bought myself a new car and it's time to reveal it. So this is what I bought. As you can see, it's a Jag, um, 2011. It's a three liter V6 twin turbo. And that's what it looked like when I got it. So this is what it looks like now. So, so far you can see um, from the original um, where it looked when I first bought it to now, um, I've got the rear windows tinted. I've added the um, the wind guys on the on the windows to make it look a little bit better. And also, oh, I forgot. Just quickly, I'll show you this. The diffuser at the back was a. smooth plastic black well sort of like a blacky grey uh, dark grey sort of plasticky colour color. Um, and I've replaced that I got that from a Jag specialist um, for uh, a cost of 60 quid um, yeah so this car is actually um, quite a nice car uh, I part X'd my Q7 against it, so I only had um, two grand to put on top, well, two and a half grand to put on top. And yeah, the uh, since I've had it, I've done the timing belt on it. Um, it's due a service as well, so I've got to get it serviced. And next week, I'm off to Zidane Motor Group to get the uh, Jag mapped. So standard, it's 238 brake horse. Um, I don't know what the newton meters are on that. I'll have to research that for the next video. And uh, so it's gonna be remapping it to 307 brake. And again, the torque figures, I'll have to get um, I'll have to get the figures from uh, Zid on that one. Oh, this is really bad, isn't it? Flipping. Um, video right then so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get somewhere that's a bit better um, and not so bright I'll be back in a second right then sorry about that <clears throat> it was a bit bright so yeah I'm uh, I'm more than happy with this vehicle um, I didn't go for a 2 litre version or a 2.2 litre version because apparently they've, they suffer quite a lot of problems um, as does Jag in general anyway um, since I've had the vehicle, I've had a new battery put on it um, because uh, it came up when I was away working in London, it came up with a gearbox fault. Um, I plugged my Carly into it to find out what it was and it just said that there was some kind of um, miscommunication somewhere, uh, something wasn't reading something. Um, I can't remember what it said, so I think this is the picture if i've got it on my phone still i'll put it on the screen now if not then um yeah sorry about that um so yeah um <clears throat> i mean it's got a touch screen um head unit maybe yeah yeah touch screen head unit um and it's automatic um full leather interior everything 
you know, the normal works, electric seat, cruise control, the whole works. Um, yeah, so I really like this car. I've got a few more modifications that I want to do to the vehicle. Um, obviously, uh, more videos to come on that. Um, just little touches, really. Um, for the uh, fitted mats that I've got that you saw, I'll show you them now. Them there. I'll put a link in the description of where you can buy them. I bought them from AliExpress um, for quite a cheap, um, for, yeah, for quite cheap, really, for what they are, and they fit quite nicely. Um, very well tailored. As you can see, um, you sort of kind of stick the edges under the seat and that, and under the plastics. Um, yeah, so that's the new car. Um, well, if you've not, this is the first time you've been watching my videos, please hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I'm actually getting some more likes now. Um, well, more likes, more likes. I'm getting more um views now there's a certain video that i've i've posted that's got over 10,000 views so thanks very much for your support guys i really really appreciate it keep hitting that like button um hit the notification bell whatever you need to do um and uh, yeah i'll see you on the next one stay safe for now